Hi, welcome to Bad Movie Reviews. Everyone, Bonnie made a friend in class. Oh, she's story. already making friends. No, no, she literally made a new friend. I want you to meet Forky. Uh, hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Ah. <gasps> the film works hard to entertain, but it's also stuck in awkward limbo between reset and replay mode, gesturing toward new adventures while rehashing tired old themes. For every flash of inspiration, Toy Story 4 keeps running into narrative dead ends, and the filmmakers inevitably fall back on adult-oriented emotional grasping when the inventiveness wears thin. Considering the age of these toys it feels like a missed opportunity to reckon with what happens when they literally start falling apart, or run aground in some parallel dimension where video games have taken over. Bo? Forky, come on! Bo? Bo? Hi there. To say the least, number four is a letdown. Actually, that's being nice. The fourth film is a disaster and that leads us to the plot. It starts nine years before present day. Bo Peep is given away by Andy's sister. Woody attempts a rescue. Faced with a choice to go with her or stay with Andy, Woody stays. It's a life regret. You've probably seen the trailer or photos. The animation is impeccable and the music perfect. The voice work of a wonderful and talented group of actors is done exactly like the other films. Everything is as it should be except for the story. You know, you've handled this lost toy life better than I could. Open your eyes, Woody. There's plenty of kids out there. Sometimes. Toy Story 4 just doesn't work. Toys aren't supposed to grow up yet Toy Story 4 is grown up. It's more of a love story and a drama than a light animated feature. Other than a running routine about Buzz finding his inner voice, it's just not that much fun. We want it to be fun. It's Toy Story. We want it to be kid-like. In a way, that it isn't either of those things is ironic. I don't remember it being this hard. Woody, somebody's whispering in your ear. Everything. Being grown up is not necessarily a wrong move for the film's eight writers. Most of the kids who saw the original movie in 1995 are now in their 30s and 40s. They've grown up with the franchise. It appears the franchise has grown up with them too. That takes us face to face with the film's flaw. Sadly, many of you are going to drag your children or grandchildren to this thinking it's like the other movies. Toy Story 4 is not. It's more adult than child and the child in this adult was bored. There is no better way to say it than this sequel sucks. The panic is attacking me! Change of plans. Jesse, Ham, Buzz, Bo, Rex, Potato Head. Ah! Hey, watch it, Where buddy. Where do we go? Let's go save a spork. Do I need to be worried? Well, my guys are veterans. I'll hang in there. On my way! Whoa!